three, again, is gonna be like paragraph one. You don't need to be too long. This is actually a good opportunity in case there's something special you need to remind or you need to make very clear. Sometimes this may involve something easy, such as the quality. It also may involve something more detailed, like the right to cancel the transaction at any time. Now, this sounds a little bit strange, doesn't it? Because it seems like once you make an order, it's an order, it's official, it's kind of binding. We said before that if the buyer accepts, then it's legally binding. So what's the situation here? Well, it depends on the relationship between the buyer and the seller. If the buyer is a big company and the seller is a small company, the buyer may be able to say, we can cancel this order at any time. Or they may be a little bit different than that. They may say something like, we can cancel this order with 10 days notice or 30 days notice or one day notice. It depends. It all depends on the relationship between the buyer and the seller. So that's possible. And if you have something special like that, you would go into the third paragraph, the last paragraph. You also can put the deadlines in there, the time that you've agreed on. Now these times would not be a surprise. These times would be times that you've already talked about inside the negotiation. So this is probably part of the offer or counter offer. But you put it here to remind the seller, don't forget, you're going to ship before December 1. Or you're going to ship between December 1 and December 5. Make it very clear inside the order, if that's important. If it's not important, then you don't worry about it. So you keep it very simple English, very simple sentences. But you want to make sure you have any information you need. If something goes wrong with the order, then this letter is your evidence. This is your proof that the order was not fulfilled correctly. Let's take a look at some examples here. Example number one. We will open a letter of credit in your favor when we receive your confirmation. We would like to have this order shipped as soon as possible because our, st our stock has run low. Now, personally, I'm not sure I like this as soon as possible, or some kind, sometimes called ASAP, as soon as possible. I think it would be better to write a date, but maybe you don't really have a date. You're just trying to give the seller a little bit of pressure, a little bit of a feeling of a deadline, but you don't really have a deadline. If you have a real deadline, you should say what is the real deadline. Let's look at example number two. We have instructed our bank to open a letter of credit in your favor. So this is the payment. We're, this is how we're going to pay. The above order is placed with the understanding that the following restrictions, I'm sorry, restriction, no S there, applies. At any time, our company reserves the right to cancel the order and or refuse delivery. Wow, that's... Uh, <laughs> very serious uh, restriction, right? So this is really, really clear. It's saying that at any time, any time, right there, any time, they can cancel and they can also just refuse delivery. Wow, so that's uh, pretty extreme. What do we do about this kind of case if we're the seller, if we receive this order and we're the seller? Well, it's very simple. If you go ahead and agree, then that means you agree to this order. If there's a problem, then you need to object and say this order, we cannot follow this. So it really depends on the situation. As I've said, a big company buying from a small company, this may actually be kind of normal, although it feels very risky, doesn't it? If you are the buyer, this is the place you want to put any of your special requirements like this. Okay, let's look at example number three. The final concern is the packaging of the goods. Packaging. Please take extra care to assure there is no chance of the bed frames or stools being scratched. Our customers are very sensitive to this type of damage. 
and will not accept any furniture that has the smallest scratches or other damage to the finish. So this is an interesting one and this is the longest example, isn't it? It's explaining something. Now is explaining something good? Well, it does kind of help to create a relationship. However, in this example, it's not very clear what will you do if the goods are scratched or damaged? What will happen? It might be better to write very clearly, we will not pay for any damaged goods. The problem with that is usually when you pay, you're paying through a letter of credit or through a bank. It's not like you keep the money and then you pay later, although that is possible, but there are many cases where that's not the way it works. You receive the goods, the payment is going through a bank already. It's out of your hands. It would be maybe very suspicious for the seller to send the goods and you don't send the money unless you already had a relationship. Now if you already have a relationship and you do trust the seller, then this would be the way to write. You would say something like, please be careful, please pay attention, and you'd explain why. We don't want scratches. Of course, nobody wants their goods to be damaged in any way, but here we explain even more detail to kind of create that feeling of a relationship, right? Please help me so I can sell your goods, right? It's a win-win situation. So that's why we would explain more. So this is a very friendly, kind of positive way to end the letter. Okay, so those are a few examples. And here we see the overall letter of an order, an example of an order. And again, here we have our heading, our opening, our body, and our closing. Please remember, these are the formal parts. They're really, really important. For example, that date line, that's how we know. What is this date? This is the date that this order is sent. This is key. And that attention to this person, this is the person we're dealing with. Very important, it gets to that person. And then down here, the thing that I'm always looking for, a very clear subject line. Now here we say that it's an order, and here we have the name of the product. It's very good, so very clear. What is it we're buying? Okay, so that's probably the easiest letter out of the whole series in the trade negotiation process. This is the easiest one. We're already going to make an order. The buyer's happy, the seller's happy, everybody's happy. So just be careful of the detail so that you always get what you want in your order. Good luck.